know a crazy fact about frogs? What? Um, they used to use them as pregnancy tests. What? <laughs> George. Oh my god, you're pregnant. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Wow, um, that's funny. crazy. Okay, Maya's um, pregnant. Huge. Beer's kind of gross. Yeah, it's nasty. It's it like, super nasty. It's like not great for your stomach. Do, it's very fizzy. Do they burp. do this in America as well, where obviously as a kid, you'd see your dad drinking something fizzy and like colorful, and you're like, oh, can I try it? And your dad's like, all right, yeah. And then he laughs at you, and you go, <laughs> Yeah, my dad died. Okay, yeah, my dad died. So. Wait, no, no. No, it's like chill. It's oh. like. Why yeah, are you no, doing? Like, why are you using that for a bit? <laughs> what? <laughs> what the, this, oh my god! He's such a YouTuber. <laughs> That's my thing, having a dead parent. That's messed up. First, my musical. Now this. I uh, right. A drama drop coming yeah, up. Yeah. <laughs> Stop! This is torture! Stop! I'm trying to listen! Dude, this is torture! I can't watch this, man! Insane, so at Simply Hates every streamer. Hey, I'm here with Point Crow. Okay, I have good news and bad news, everybody. Bad news! Prezzo is not doing the nine to five police shift with me. He says he has another job and he can't do it and that he's cringe. That's what he said, exactly. Good news is that Squeaks is doing it. So Squeaks and I are working our nine to five shift on April 4th. Bad news is nobody tells Squeaks that he was second choice. <laughs> Pancake tent should be left in uh, 2022. <laughs> What? 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 Yes. What? Yes, what? I stand by that statement. What? What? OTV podcast. It's not you live. Know, I, I feel like she's mad that we didn't invite her, but I will say this is an open <laughs> invitation am. to women too. If any women want to come over. I don't. <laughs> I don't want to do that. I don't. <sighs> okay. Uh, whoop. I don't want to do that. I don't want to get in the pancake tent. I don't think Wubby wants me in the pancake tent either. I think that could be problematic. What is the pancake tent? Wubby did a stream last year where he made pancakes with cum. <laughs> Everybody makes them differently, allegedly. Could you change the title to, um... Oh, never mind. Part's already done. Thank change you. the title to watching e stream? stream. make a command that's like... Command, what the is this? You can be like, we're just making sure that the dumpster doesn't catch fire. That'd be great. All right, I'm going to go back to where I can go. Did you guys do a good job at this? Yeah? Okay. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh my god! Yeah! <laughs> 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 oh my god. I couldn't even tell she was screaming for a second. She was committed to that. Also, are they going to like the Renaissance Fair every weekend? The Renaissance Fair is their Disneyland. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Okay, hold on, hold on. Wubby Did Wubby like, just watch my whole stream? Like, yeah, I mean, I watch Wubby every once in a while. That's so, uh, yeah, you know what? Guys, I can retire now. No, but really, uh, everyone was so sweet. There was a lot of people that came up to me and said, you deserve it. And I don't feel like I do. The award was is still shocking to me. It still blows my mind to think about. Uh, you know, I still ugh, uh, struggle I hate with, him. with feeling um, that I deserve it. But... You know, with that being said, uh, I accept it, and it means a lot. Uh, I will say, though, that on the way to the bathroom when I was holding it, Ms. Kiff came up to me, and he said, this isn't yours, and he slapped it out of my f***ing hand, and he peed on it. That makes sense. He rubbed his dick on it, and he really did that. Ms. Kiff really did that. He rubbed his dick on my award. And what he doesn't know, joke's on him, moron, when he walked away, I grabbed it. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the loser now? Matthew, I saw it's true. Thank you. Very wholesome. Kind of romantic. Ramen spot. We're eating ramen. Delicious. Delicious ramen. <sighs> Ludwig. And then she shows me her phone. She goes, oh my God. Look at the set for Taylor Swift's new concert. So I grab the phone for her. I'm looking at it. I'm like, oh, wow. That's crazy. It's like, it's like a house. Spoilers. It's a house. I'm like, it's cool. a lover. Is that like it's a, a um, house? And she's like, yeah, it's a house. This is, it's from this album. I'm like, cool. 
And then, like, a couple moments pass. The waiter comes over. We get, get, like, drinks. I hand the phone back to her. And, and then she looks at the phone, like, confused. And then she looks at me, and she's like, I can't believe I've been spoiled on Taylor Swift's concert. And I was like, that's yeah, a bummer. She's like, why would you show it to me? You, you literally leaked it. And I was like, what are we – what's going on here? I was like, no. No, that's not what happened. I, that's not – I – First of all, I wouldn't even know that that was a Taylor Swift concert. I felt so bad. <laughs> okay, okay. If if the the girls at this ramen shop don't watch me, they definitely don't watch me. But they do watch Ludwig because they recognize Ludwig and they were so excited to meet him. But I was dealing with some of the most stressful shit in the world that day. Like I'm on the phone call, like arguing with someone and this cute waiter, she's the sweetest little thing in the world is like, can we take a picture? And I'm like, ah, and they take a picture with Ludwig and they're like, cutie, get in it. And I'm like, and, like, I, like, have to, and I like, probably looked like such a, but I was dealing with some, sh um, but my brain has legitimately, le legitimately been fried ever since um, the award show. It hasn't really come back to me yet. So yeah, I got all mad at Ludwig. I was like, uh, I'm having like short-term memory loss. I was like, how dare you spoil Taylor Swift's concert for me? Meanwhile, I've watched like 12 TikToks on it. I, I Sometimes I think you just want to be mad at someone. So you get mad at your boyfriend. <laughs> People are like, what do women want? And we're like, we just want someone to blame. <laughs> you, don't, you, don't think, like, you don't look at Darius and think like, that shit look kind of good. I do. I've eaten it before. Well, yeah, I, sometimes yeah, yeah, well, sometimes I used to look mm. at Durs and I would be like, I, I think... He tastes good. Uh, he's been eating the. Wait, what? Talking about eating Durs? Oh, no. Yeah, he's yeah, talking about food, eating Yeah, his food like really. Yeah, okay, all right. Would you? Okay. Durs food also. His also, food I know good. you're memeing because he actually looks really inedible. There's yeah. so much hair and it's so matted. That's why you skin and. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would love to give you just a, a an animal to skin. Aiden's weird. Did you see the Elden Ring Streamer Awards tweet? By the way, I didn't know. Peepo takes a tour of. Bandai Namco US office and gets to know familiar faces from the lands between. Big thank you to everyone who made Elden. That is so freaking cute. I'm losing my mind. Peepo! Peepo is now home in the Bandai Namco office after the streamer awards, so we're going on an Elden Ring tour. Go! After watching the trailer in our welcome area, we hung out with Melania, Blade of Mikla, you know the one. Peepo also enjoyed the Elden Ring Collector's Edition helmet and seal book, as well as a lively conversation with Potfriend. Next, we appreciated this team jacket and the Elden Ring conference room. We set up a meeting to introduce Peepo to Potfriend from the Game Awards and another Melania. I think they might be a little biased, but Elden Ring was their favorite stream game of the year. Onboarding was hard work, so we're taking a short rest. It may not be a sight of grace, but this blanket is pretty cozy. Cozy. Jumping back into the action, we met the third Millennia in- Why do you have so many Millennias? In the Bandai Namco US office, followed by a Potfriend from Twitch Rivals. We stopped to appreciate this desk mat, and he made me promise we will come back once the RGB lights were charged. As a streamer award, people found common ground with the game award. Finally, Cute. we ended the day with Millennia from the Collector's Edition. Thanks so much for everyone who voted for Elden Ring. That is the cutest freaking thing in the entire world. Good job, people. You did good. My little baby, I'll see you later. Meanwhile, everyone else broke theirs. True. Wait, while well, I'm gone, you should talk about uh, the things you like about me. All right, here you go, my friend. Hopefully you said some nice things about me. Yes, we did. Awesome, awesome. Dude, I love Daph. Daph is someone that every time I talk to, I get so intimidated and I don't know how to hold a conversation with her. <laughs> it's just like Bjergsen, yeah. I just get so intimidated. Did you know your sense of taste can be tricked easy? If you shake an imaginary salt oh, shaker no. your tongue, your brain will trick your taste buds into thinking you've actually done it. Give it a try. Wait, 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 no, 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 no. I was like, that sounds like that Classic. might be something that works. <laughs> no, no, Classic. no, 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 That, that mother stop. Whoa. What? You type an exclamation mark playlist in this channel and see whose name that comes up under. No, no, chances, chances. Man, you know what? The day we break up, if that ever happens, he's gonna have to, oh man, he's gonna have to go back to his 
normal stream playlist of like 10 years. I am gonna boot him off of my Spotify. He's gone. Fucking <laughs> gone. That's hilarious. You know thing about me ditching Fort Joy? No. I can't do this to you. Say goodbye to your dear. <laughs> I took the playlist. <laughs> That's the only reason you're still with me? Uh, no, there's one more reason. <laughs> That's what <laughs> blackmail I have on him. <laughs> Who do you think those those like occasional else off posts? <laughs> I feel like I should be. I feel parasocial watching this. I don't understand. Yo, what's up, Kaide? Oh my god. Isn't it really early for you? Or really late, depending on if you're going to bed late? Everyone say hello. How you doing? Hopefully things are good. Yeah, wow, this is crazy. Um, the, i never seen a yellow name get added like this in chat. It was crazy. VIP? Yeah, sure, let's do that. Easy. Nick, I work? don't come here to be serious or serve as your educator. I come here to be entertained by a clown. Jack has. Oh. She says, things are great. The cancer is thriving. Oh, my <laughs> God. God <laughs> That's my goat. Uh, uh. <laughs> well, I do not know what to say. <laughs> That's my goat. Stand right here. You have a very simple job. Don't yeah. smile. That's all you have to do. Thank you for the 13. And at MPLL? Yes. All you have to do is compliment Death until Easy. she smiles. Okay. Am I ready to go now? Good yes. Luck. That's never going to happen. Yeah. He's better off going back to jail. I'm so glad you're here. I've been looking at you through the internet for a long time. Your beautiful eyes, your pretty hair. You... She's gonna throw up. Your awesome smile. I just love your fit and the way you dress. I love you. She's so good. Yeah, she's so good! Yeah. <laughs> LOL. Yes. To remind you to not get caught public streaming again. Oh. I apologize. Here's your warrant. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. The reason that I thought about I'm it not was watching I, I this clip. Well with... Will is the dumbest motherfucker I've ever seen in my life. Why would he do this? The fattest ass of all time. Once upon a time, and that that ass, it it, it just a different category. So what I wanted to say was like. It, in the ways that she's attractive, in the face, she's definitely the most attractive. Is that is that is that a good answer? That's what I wanted to say, but this is like the, this is like. Remember when Ludwig did the uh, the lie detector test, and I said, "Do you think you are more attractive than me?" And he was like, "Yes." Do you think you are more attractive than me? Yeah. I still think about that. Is Caroline the hottest girl you've ever dated? And this mother <sighs> paused. I like the title. <laughs> and thought about it. Yeah. And then said yeah. this. Yeah. Fattest ass of all time, once upon a time. And that that ass, it, it, it just a different category. So what I wanted to say was mm. like, Mm. In, in the ways that she's attractive, in the face, she's definitely the most attractive. Is that is that mm. is that a good answer? That's no. what I wanted to say. Such but a bad answer. In the face, she's definitely the most attractive. You know, ladies, I just want I just I just let the record show, okay? Uh -huh. Men, it doesn't matter if they're twenty. It doesn't matter if they're thirty-three. Men are f stupid. Drake's in chat.